if you're going to work from home, in my opinion, you should be running Windows 10 for the most, for better security than what Windows 7 has right now. So, um, in order to do this upgrade, you need to make sure that um, your window, your copy of Windows is activated. If you um, don't know or don't know what I'm talking about, um, you need to go to the Start button, uh, right-click on the Computer button here, and then click on Properties. This control panel window will open up, and you need to scroll down until you find the section that says Windows Activation. And if it says Windows is activated, you have a product ID, and you see this Ask for Genuine Microsoft Software a little sticker here. That means you are good to go. If it says Windows is not activated and you must activate today, then you need to enter a product key and validate your copy of Windows 7 in order to do this upgrade. There were people commenting on the last video saying that it required a product key even though their Windows copy of Windows 7 was activated. And what I had to say to that is you need to re-enter your product key. Either it's on a sticker on the bottom of your laptop or desktop, or if that sticker is nowhere to be found or if you've lost that sticker, there is a program called Specky by uh, the people that made CCleaner. Um, you need to download that tool and run it. It's a very easy process. And if you click on, once the program loads up, you click on operating system, it'll tell you your operating system and your product key. You need to write down that product key just in case. But it's not going to ask me for one today because I just activated this copy of Windows. So I should be good to go. So I'm going to close out of this window. And um, second step is to launch Google Chrome or any other web browser that you prefer. I just prefer Chrome. And then in the search bar here, you need to type in download Windows 10 ISO. You need to make sure the link that you're clicking on is from www.microsoft.com software download Windows 10. So you need to click you need to click on download Windows 10 disk image ISO file from Microsoft. And once the web page comes up, you'll see create Windows 10 installation media and then you'll see all this. You need to click on uh, download tool now. And um, if you're using Chrome like I am, it'll put it in the bottom bar right here. If you're using Firefox, it'll be in the top right. Internet Explorer, it'll be on the bottom, but it'll look different. But um, once you once the tool gets downloaded, I'm just going to click on it here to run it. You need to say yes to the user account control prompt, and then you can close out of your web browser because we don't need it anymore. And what this program will do is will download and copy will download a copy of Windows 10 to your computer, and then it will help you install that copy of Windows 10. And also, what this program does is some people were asking like, how does this work from the last video? The way this works is that um, Microsoft, even though it's 2020, and the Microsoft used to have a free upgrade period um, from 2015 to 2016, um, that's ended, but Microsoft still allows you to activate a copy of Windows 10 using a Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 product key. And I guess they do this so they'll get more people on Windows 10. I'm not sure why they do this, but this has been around ever since Windows 10 came out. And this program sees, hey, this guy has Windows 7 Ultimate. I mean, I have Ultimate, but you may have any other version of Windows 7. Um, I have Ultimate, so it's going to say, hey, this guy's got Windows 7 Ultimate with a genuine license. Well, we could just take that license and use it to upgrade him to Windows 10, and that's what this program will do. So that's a rough explanation about how all this works. Um, so you need to click Accept to the uh, license terms, or it won't work. And now this program will get a few things ready. Um, I should also mention that if you have Windows 7 Home Basic or Windows 7 Home Premium, it will be upgraded to Windows 10 Home. If you have Windows 7 Pro or Windows 7 Ultimate, you will be upgraded to Windows 10 Pro because there is no Windows 10 Ultimate. And if you also have Windows 7 Starter, even though I kind of trash talked Windows 7 Starter, there are still people that had it. If you have Windows 7 Starter, you will it will take you to Windows 10 Home Edition because there's only Windows 10 Home and Pro pretty much. So um, when this screen comes up, you need you need to make sure you click on Upgrade this PC now and click Next. 
and now it is downloading uh, Windows 10. Um, the Windows 10 file that it will download, the latest version is what it will download. But the build number as of today is uh, 1909, and that's the latest version of Windows 10. It's about a 5 gigabyte file. So if any of you have limited data on your internet connection, um, this download is about 5 gigabytes. Okay, the download has finished, and now it is creating Windows 10 Media. It's taking that file we just downloaded and making it into a file that we can use to go ahead and upgrade to Windows 10. Okay, so it finished creating the Windows 10 Media, and then the application will close, open up again, check for updates, close, and open up again. Now we are on the checking your PC screen, and now it's getting a few things ready. And now you need to accept the license terms once again. And now it is getting updates, so it may take a few minutes. Okay, um, it's done with updates, and now it's making sure that we're ready to install. And now we are at the kind of like conclusion screen. So I'm on Windows 7 Ultimate, so it's going to give me Windows 10 Pro. And um, very important, right here, keep personal files and apps. You need to click on change what to keep. And you need to make sure that it is on keep personal files and apps. This is also the time where I sh very strongly recommend that you take anything you do not want to lose, which would be probably videos, music, documents, pictures, everything like that, and back those up. I would either back them up to a cloud storage solution, such as Google Drive. Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes of free storage. You can use Dropbox, you can use Mega, you can use Box, or whatever you'd like, or you can go the old-fashioned way and back them up to a USB flash drive or an external hard drive. Even though it says right here it will keep personal files and apps, I very strongly recommend you back up your files just in case of the negative 1% that something goes wrong. I know that's not really a number there, but just on the very, very small chance that something goes wrong you still have your files but it says it will keep the files and I haven't had anyone report that their files have been deleted yet and in order to put this to the test I have a folder on my desktop called very important stuff and I have a text document very important everything that's very very important <laughs> okay so um, we're gonna see when we get to Windows 10 if that folder is here and if that folder is here that will prove that um, this program does keep your files and even though it says it will keep your files and apps be sure to back everything up just in case um, but if you don't want to keep anything you would click nothing this will keep nothing if you only want to keep files and delete all programs um, this could be useful for speeding up your slower computer just keep in mind if you have Microsoft Office or any programs that pertain to your computer like if you have a Dell computer and you have um, Dell programs on there, you'll need to reinstall those Dell programs. And if you have Microsoft Office, it'll wipe that out too. But I'd recommend keep personal files and apps. Just make sure everything's backed up and then click Next. And now it's going to make sure we're ready to install and get updates again since we had to modify those settings there. So um, I'll be back whenever it's done getting its updates. Okay, so we are at the uh, ready to install, I guess the conclusion page once again. It is going to install Windows 10 Pro and keep personal files and apps have been chosen. I'm going to say it one more time. Make sure you have any personal files that you want to keep backed up just in case something goes wrong. Which it shouldn't, but just in case. So um, now we get to click on install. And um, now it is installing Windows 10. Um, this might take a while. I've had people say it takes up to 30 minutes, to 4 hours, to 6 hours, to a day, but it'll, it all depends on the speed of your computer. Um, I My computer is pretty fast, so this shouldn't take more than like half an hour. So, Okay, so the first step of that finished, and now my computer is restarting. You will get this screen here. This process may take around 30 or so minutes to complete, and your computer will automatically restart once it's done. Alrighty, and here we are. Um, we are on Windows 10 now, so we need to open up the lock screen and type in our super secret password. Alrighty, now we need to choose uh, privacy settings for our device. You can choose whatever you want, 
But me personally, I turn everything off. And I do this because I like the minimal amount of data required to send to Microsoft to be actually be sent. I don't really like any of my data being sent to Microsoft. So the only thing I can do about it is just to turn all these off. And we are now on Windows 10. You will see that we have uh, black borders on the left and right. Um, you may experience this and you may not. If you do, um, that means you need a new display driver. That will automatically install through Windows Update. So since we just got here and we haven't configured anything yet, it's set to automatically install drivers. And I really like that feature. It's pretty handy. So um, your screen will automatically like fix itself, I guess. But your Windows update will go and get a new display driver momentarily. We are now on Windows 10, and I will go to the settings page to confirm what version of Windows 10 it brought us to. So if we go to the about section, it brought us to Windows 10 version 1909, and I'm going to show that it is activated. Windows is activated with a digital license. That's because I activated my copy of Windows 7. It carried that license over to 10 and activated 10 and upgraded our computer. So there we go. So, and as you can see, this folder for very important stuff and our very important text document is here. So our files did stay, which is good. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about how to upgrade to Windows 10 for free in 2020. Um, any questions?